Hello all, welcome to Netset OS. Today in this video, we will discuss a very famous question which is asked frequently in interviews. Longest valid parenthesis. Let's understand the question first. It says valid parenthesis. Valid parenthesis in the sense the parenthesis which are in pair or we can say it has open as well as close braces. Now if we see the first expression it has all valid parenthesis as they are in all pairs. So we can say it is a valid parenthesis. Now in this question it asks longest valid parenthesis. If I have been given an expression I need to find out longest balanced parenthesis as in it should not only have valid but also it should be together as here we have six parentheses one two three four five six and in this expression it is a longest one let's see the second expression where we have an open braces then open and close braces so we can see this is a balanced this is a valid parenthesis but for first open braces we don't have any closed one so the valid parenthesis is just two which is itself a longest one now if we see the third expression it has open braces then a pair then afterwards it closes the first one and then there is two so one two three four five six let's look for fourth first closing braces then open and close this is two then two and afterwards it is closed braces again now if i look for its open braces so that it can make its pair it will look for this particular braces which is a closed one so this is not a valid parenthesis so here the valid parenthesis will be four the longest one so basically here we won't be calculating which are not paired if it is paired it will be a valid parenthesis now let's understand the strategy how to find it here we are taking the example first open braces then a pair then the closed braces and then open and closed so for this I'll give an index to it and with this I will have a memo array which I will name it as DP here in this video I'll be solving this problem with the help of dynamic programming so dynamic programming itself says to store the value at a place and use it again and again so that we can have efficient time complexity right so let's start so here we got an algorithm according to which we will proceed further now let's understand what our algorithm says first make a memo of same size memo i mean to say a dp dp of same size as a whatever my expression will be i have named it as a then i will look while iterating if i get open braces i will simply put at that particular location zero and i won't be making any changes to it there will be no changes because with the open braces we won't be able to know that we got a pair or not basically here we are looking for valid the pair so that we can know by close braces so when it gets the close braces then it will go and check before part whether it is open or not if it is a open simply before it that means we got our pair and it will take the value of before plus two two stands for the recent pair and then comes a fourth part actually this is not a fourth part 
this is simply with this which says if i get the closed braces as like this which doesn't have a place before it a open braces it doesn't have anything so it will look for open braces before a pair if it is there then it will go for this expression this expression i will tell you later so let's start with the iteration first of all for zero a zero is open braces so for open braces it will go to second point and will put dp0 as 0 then it will iterate further here for a1 again i got empty braces so for empty braces it will simply put dp1 as 0 no changes anywhere then it will iterate further and for a2 I got closed braces. Now the main challenge come on third point. First of all it will look for one place before it that is i minus 1. So at i minus 1 it's a1. Is a1 is an open braces so that it can get pair immediate pair. This is for immediate pair which is successful here as this is in pair so it says to go for dpi minus 2 that means two place before it because here we have a pair value of dp which is 0 plus 2 2 for this the pair we got over here so 0 plus 2 will be 2 so for dp2 i will put the value 2 then it will iterate further and for a3 we got closed braces so it will enter to the third point and it says look for its left value so for left it is closed braces so we won't be going to this then it says to go for if it is making a pair so go and check before it is making a pair that means this value i'll explain this how it means this value a value before a pair so a i is the point on the cursor which is 3 minus dp i minus 1 which is 2 minus 1 so 3 minus dp2 is 2 so why it is looking for value of dp2 dp2 2 value 2 value means here we got a pair so i want to know the value of this before a pair minus 1 so 3 minus 2 is 1 minus 1 this zeroth value because 2 represents pair over here so the value before a pair is a open braces so here it looks for the value before a pair which is a open braces so here it satisfies so it will go inside if condition and here dp i minus 1 i minus 1 i is 3 so dp of 2 plus 2 plus dp of i minus dp i minus 1 2 minus 2 so dp2 is 2 plus 2 so here you can see first it is looking for the value which is before it that means it got a pair over here so here i wrote 2 plus 2 the recent value as this is also making a pair 0 and 3 so here we got 2 plus also it is looking for the value which is before it if we had any pair before beyond 0 it will take that value also as it is a 0 
there is no value over here so we will make it 0 and here we will get 2 plus 2 as 4 right hope you got this if you haven't got I will take one more example and will understand this part more clearly as this is the most important part of our code so it will iterate further so I'll clear the screen now at a4 there is open braces so for open braces it will go to second point and will put dp4 as 0 no changes anywhere then it will iterate further and here for a5 I got closed braces so it will go to third point and will look for immediate pair whether I have the value in the left open braces as like here if it is there there here so it will go the value before which is 4 plus the recent value so 4 plus 2 is 6 so the longest pair I got over here is 6 let's understand this with one more question so here I have taken one more expression a so we will start iterating before that I have made a dp as I'll be solving this with the help of dynamic programming so I have satisfied the first point so for a0 it is close braces so it will go to third point and will look for the value before it whether there is an open braces but here this is the a0 that means there is no value before it so this won't be going to this if a condition then it will look for if there is any pair in between as this is the first value so it won't be having any value before it so it will return 0 here as it does not have any pair neither the immediate pair nor the open braces at before any pair so it will iterate further so at a1 it got it will go to second point and will make dp1 as 0 then it will iterate further so here a2 is close braces so it will go to third point and will look for the value just immediate to it just left to it if it is open braces yes it is open braces so it will go to two values before and will add the recent pair to it so here we got 0 plus 2 as 2 then it will iterate further and at a3 i got open braces so for open braces it will simply put 0 then it will iterate further this time a4 is closed braces that means on third point and it will look for the immediate left point if it is open braces yes it is open braces so it will go two values before that means this we already have two and we will add our recent pair which is two so two plus two will be four over here right again it will iterate and this time at a5 we have closed braces so for closed braces it will look for immediate left whether we have open braces no this time we don't have so it will not go to this if condition now it will look for see if we have closed braces we'll be having two condition either we will have open braces immediate at the left so that it can make a pair or we will have open braces before we'll be having pairs so we have to look for this open braces if it is there then we will get a pair if it is not there we won't be considering this so here it says a the recent point is 5 minus the value before it dp4 because till now we got four values that means two pairs 
minus 1. So 5 minus dp4 is 4 minus 1. So 5 minus 4 is 1 minus 1 is 0. That means it is looking for a0 and we have 4 values in between. So it is looking for open braces but we have a closed braces. So as we don't have any open braces over here, it won't be going to this if condition. That means we haven't got a pair for this and it will return the value 4 as longest valid parenthesis because we have 4 values which are in pair, right? So let's see how the program works for it. So I have the program in front of my screen which is same as algorithm. First of all, we made a dp which is of same size as a and we will fill 0 and I have named it as dp. Then we will look for in the expressions which is in ai if it is open braces it will be as we have filled 0 we will simply pass the value we won't be making any changes here. Then we will be looking for closed braces. If it is closed braces, this is a base condition, the value less than 0. So we won't be paying attention to it. We will simply ignore it. Then as we got closed braces, we will be looking for open braces. If it is just before it in the left, that is immediate pair, then we will take the value just before it and will add two values the recent pair value to it and we will continue and if we don't get the immediate pair we will be looking for the pair of closed braces before the pairs which will be seen with the help of this expression and then we will add the recent pair value the before value and the value before we get open braces as simple as that so let's rub this and then we have the base condition if length of dp is 0 then it will return 0 then and there and here we will get max of dp so here we are looking for this expression so let's run the program and here we got 6 why 6 because we have two value then this two and for this we will get the open braces so it will make four two plus four is six so this is how we can solve this problem with the help of dynamic programming so hope you like the video so if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe my channel thank you